Describe the translation that produces A prime. Translation is uh, moving up and down at this point. A prime is at that point. So I graphed it A prime there because I went up five over that way. So it's up five and five to the left. That's this translation. This is describing it. Okay. And then writing the rule because it went left. Um, it went left. It's a minus five on the x and up. It, up up is the y line. So it's a plus five. That's the rule for that. Okay. Um, now the next one. Write the coordinates for. Um, a double prime, B double prime. <coughs> if the trapezoid rotate 90 degree counterclockwise. Well, for me, I need to write the remember clockwise is 90 degrees. I remember anything 90 degrees, the number switch. Um, so let me write all the numbers first. That's 5 and negative 3. C is um, 7 and negative 5. D is um, 1, negative 5. Okay, so A double prime. Let's switch that number. Counterclockwise. So now the graph is going to be up here. Counter, go in the opposite direction. Here's 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and it fits right here. Counter is going up that way. So it's going to be in this quadrant. Um, 3, 3. 3, 3 is A prime. I'm going to do it in blue. 3, 3 is A prime. Oh, blue, I mean. Um, now, B prime, switch it, it's 5, 3, so it becomes 3, 5, 3, 5, up here, alrighty, and then C prime, Opposite of seven five is five seven. Right there. And then D prime double prime, I mean. It's one five, so it's five one. Right there. Just, oh, I went up five two, that's why. Right here. That's T double prime, C double prime, um, B double prime, and A double prime. The blue ones are my double prime. Okay. And list the coordinates. We list the coordinate. Write the rule. The rule is um, the rule is all the x, well the number switch, so the rule is it becomes y, x, it went from x, y, the normal x, y, went from the normal x, y, these are your x, y coordinates, and it went to y, x, you switched it, the number switch, and um, Let's see, and the y got became its opposite because it was five before it went to, and when it was negative five, it went to five. You see, it became its opposite. So you put a negative there, okay? Anyways, that's why you put a negative there. Oh, not negative there, but negative on the y. And this is the rule. Okay.
Um, C, reflect over the x-axis at x equals 2. Okay, so you put x equals to 2 is right here. Put it in green. And you put a mirror there. Reflect over it. Oh, this reflect over this way. That's D. Okay, this reflect over this way five times, five away, so five away over this way. Um, B is three away from the mirror, three and one away like that. So this is B, A, C. Okay? And that's reflection over the well, should be on this line. <laughs> Anyways, and then we label image three. There we go. That's our image three. Um, determine if it's side, 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 or side, angle, side, or angle, angle, side, or uh, angle side angle, okay? Those four. This is definitely side side side. Side side side. And then side side side. Okay, triangle. Um, N M P is congruent to triangle N O P by side no. side side mm. by yeah, or side N M is well, congruent to, to N O where is M P is congruent to O P line segment. Okay. And then line segment N P is congruent to line segment N P. Okay. What time is I'll let you play for ten minutes. That's same. If this is side and angle only. It's not one of our choice. Side, side, no. So no ass, A S S, okay? And this only has two, so um, not enough information. This here is side angle and then you share this side side angle side and let's look at the other one other triangle this one here we'll do side angle side also okay um so this is come triangle s P R S P R is congruent to um, Q R P. Okay, triangle Q R P by side, oh, side, angle, side. <laughs> That's the first side. Is this one here. SP is congruent to um, QR. Angle is angle P. 
is congruent to angle R. And side, the next last side is side PR is congruent to RP. Okay. Here, identify the transformation used to create DEO to create. A prime, B prime, C prime, triangle A prime. It's a reflection. Identify the transformation. The transformation is reflection. Transformation is a reflection over the x axis. Oh, forget this one. We don't need to do that part. Okay? We already know how to do that. That's just asking you to do. I'm not going to do it. Sorry. Um, fine X. Measurement angle B and measurement of angle E. Uh oh. It's B prime. Sorry. Find X. All right. Remember, these two are equal to each other. They're the same. They're equal. So this B is equal to this B. So you write X plus 30 equals to negative 4 parentheses X minus 10. Okay, you, you would distribute negative 4X plus 40 here, because you know distribute, x plus 30 there, add 4x, 5x plus 30 equals to 40, minus 30, okay, divide by 5, x equals to 2. Check to see if your answer is right. Okay, let's check. We've got this measurement angle B right here is measurement angle B is equal to X plus 30. And if X is 2, then measurement of angle B is 32. Now this has to be 32 also, and it has this problem here. Measurement of angle B prime equals to negative 4, parentheses, X minus 10. And we say that X is 2. So you got negative 8 here, negative 4, and you got 32. So yes, it is correct. Okay, here is... Michael, it's 42 inches long. You've done a lot of this, you guys, or some of it. Okay, find if it can fit. 42 inches long divided by 12. We'll leave it in inches. We're going to turn the other one into inches. Okay. Michael goes to ship so far. Shipping company to mail the box. Baseball bat. Michael would like to ship the baseball bat in the smallest possible box to save money. The figure below shows his two options for boxes in which to ship the baseball bat. Okay, so find a diagonal of A, box A, right here. So you go A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. 2 squared plus 2.5 squared equals to C squared four plus six point two five equals to C squared ten point two five equals to C squared get a square root of that so the answer C is the square root of ten point two five 
So you're going to use this C as a B. So do A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. And this is A. A is 1.5 squared plus the square root of 10.25. Minnesota so squared so equals to C squared. 1.5 times 1.5 is 2.25 plus 10.25 equals to C squared. That gives you 12.5 equals to C squared. The square root, the square root of 12.5. This is why I don't want to do this. I get so tired. 3.5 um, feet. Now, we need to make it into inches because this is 42 inches. So you need to multiply that by 12. What am I doing? I'm tired. I'm extremely tired. That's what I'm doing. Okay, you need to multiply, find it, see how big it is. Will this bat fit in it? Same thing you do this here. Find first this diagonal, then find this diagonal, and multiply it by 12. Okay. Anyway, 